Razor Internet, and welcome back to Geek It. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Collection from the 2012-2013 years. And this one actually has series from the classic cartoon and from the first original Jim Henson movie. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, the first figure here we're going to go ahead and show you is my favorite turtle, Leonardo. Now, on all four of my... Uh, movie figures here they actually have this chalky white appearance to them uh, I went ahead and researched it why that happens and it's just a phenomenon that happens over the years um, but if I decided to open up these figures and you know take them off the mint on card and make them loose uh, the chalky appearance just wipes right off so that's not too much of a hassle if any of your collectibles have that but um, this is Leonardo. They basically come with 34 points of articulation on all four turtles and all four of them come with their signature weapons and a sewer lid with their name on it. Um, next one up we have Raphael. Um, this one here is the most chalky of my uh, secret, not secret of the use, of the original movie. Um, and as you can see here, it's the same style figure, but it's got Raphael and one sculpt. Now these figures were released prior to the Secret of the Ooze figures that I had in my earlier video. Um, these ones were not in a box set. Um, these ones are just on the plastic or on the basic card back. But the differences are um, these ones were their first run. The second one had different head sculpts, um, an accessory here or there. And in my opinion I prefer the box packaging over blister cards. But that's just the way that they have to market it. So, next up we got Donatello. Um, comes with his bow staff and also his sewer lid with his name on it. So there's a quick little run through because all the turtles are pretty much the same. Um, these ones have no uh, difference in terms of their head sculpts uh, except for their smile. Um, Michelangelo, in my opinion, always has the coolest accessory. Why? Because on nearly all of his nunchucks, the chains are actual metal. They're not hard plastic, um, except for the first retro Playmates TMNT line. Um, all the nunchucks are pretty much metal, so you really can't go wrong with that. Holds up over the years. So those were from the first movie. Now, Playmates went ahead uh, in 2016, I believe, and what I might have gotten the years screwed up there, but doesn't matter. There. Are, older figures than that but this one the next set of six I'm going to show you are from the classic animated series um, so let's just get into it instead of explaining it um, so here you can see we have Leonardo from the classic animated series um, like I mentioned in my earlier video the different shade of green actually holds significance on the uh, marketing for the turtles um, the darker shade of green as you can see here in Leonardo actually depicts it from the animated classic whereas all the bright green licensing products that you see on different items show that it, I don't know why they did that but on any products that are licensed like this sort of style here um, they use the brighter shade of green I guess it just attracts more and pops more uh, to people's eyes so Leonardo comes with his katanas and a sewer lid with his name on it um, next up here we have Raphael, a little bit of a different head sculpt, but uh, same accessory, same everything else. Um, you really can't go wrong with these the way if you line them up on your wall or anything like that. Uh, just it, it screams out classic Ninja Turtle and the reason being is because if you watched his show as a kid and you saw these figures, you'd say, you know what, this is actually 